with less than six months to go to the midterm elections, Republicans think they have Democrats in an impeachment trap. 70% of Democrats in recent polling from Quinnipiac University say they will vote for a midterm candidate who plans to impeach President Trump. Donald John Trump PD has received 18% more threats of school violence this year than last, report GOP congressman says he's leaving Congress because all I do is answer questions about Donald Trump, Edward Snowden, Russian collusion is too complicated for Trump more, but 84% of Republicans say they're ready to oppose any candidate planning on impeachment. And overall, the Quinnipiac polling shows 55% of voters don't want Democrats to begin impeachment proceedings. An April NPR, PBS, Marist survey found 47% voters would definitely vote against a candidate who campaigned on impeaching Trump while 42% said they would definitely vote for the candidate who ran on impeachment. So, with the president's consistently low approval ratings and a record number of retirements, desperate Republicans have fixated on the threat of impeachment to fire up GOP voters. But House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi and Nancy Patricia D'Alessandro Pelosi Republicans are strongly positioned to win Congress in November election fears recede for House Republicans Senate harassment bill runs into opposition from House Moore D. Califf is making clear she is not getting on the impeachment bandwagon. Even as she has referred to the president as a jerk, she has also said talk of impeachment is a distraction and gift to Republicans. She recently told the Dallas Morning News that impeachment isn't appeal to swing voters, read that is moderate white suburbanites, ready to vote against Republican House candidates to show their disappointment with Trump, what people want to know. Pelosi said, is what are you doing to help me in my life? How am I going to educate my kids or pay the rent or mortgage, medical bills? They think impeachment is an excuse not to have solutions, left-wing hero Sen. Bernie Sanders Bernard, Bernie Sanders Freedom Caucus Chairman, who was FBI informant reporting to Trump, Clapper has now admitted there was spying on my campaign, overnight defense, Trump decision on Korea summit coming, next week, China disinvited from major naval exercise, Senate sends VA reform bill to Trump more, Ivermont, has come out in agreement with Pelosi's assessment. Still, GOP ad makers will use impeachment as a boogeyman to frighten their voters to the polls. Now the tough question for Democrats is why should they give up talking about impeachment when it might help rouse their voter turnout? The party's base of educated white women, young people, blacks, Hispanics and gays are notorious for not showing up at the polls in midterms. But their fury with Trump is real, hearing House Democrats pledge to stop Trump is a sure bet to energize the anti-Trump resistance. This spring's Democratic primaries have made it clear that populist, anti-Trump candidates are the choice for Democratic voters. Centrist candidates in the Democratic primaries, even with backing from the Democratic National Committee, are losing to unapologetic, anti-Trump liberals. Rep. Al Green Alexander, Al N. Green Dem lawmaker, we will impeach Trump if we retake the House The memo, Trump team stokes fight over Mueller House Dem makes fiery call for Trump's impeachment more, D. Texas, speaks with passion about the need for impeachment. Calling Trump a jerk, as Pelosi did, only, trivializes the impact of his bigoted policies on Jews, Latinos, African Americans, women and the LGBT community. Green said in a statement earlier this month, in fact, he thinks Trump represents the quintessential president that impeachment was designed for. The same powerful message is coming from Rep. Maxine Waters Maxine more waters for 0.2 billion, taxpayers should get more than Congress's trial balloons overnight finance, House sends Dodd-Frank rollbacks to Trump, what's in the bill, Trump says there is no deal, to help CTE, panel approves bill to toughen foreign investment reviews House votes to ease regulation of banks, sending bill to Trump more, D. Califf, another black Democrat. 
Last month, after Trump pulled out of the Iran nuclear deal, she tweeted, How long do we have to suffer his gigantic ego and narcissistic behavior? Impeachment is the only answer. The impeachment camp also has a strong supporter in billionaire Tom Steyer, who is buying abundant television advertising intended to advance that cause. He is also holding a series of rallies calling for impeachment. Are we actually going to do what the writers of the Constitution, the founders of our country gave us to do if we have a reckless and lawless president? Or are we going to try and slip it under the rug and pretend it's not happening? Steyer told ABC News this month. But note that last year, the House voted to kill an impeachment resolution by a vote of 364 to 58. The vote tally showed that 126 Democrats joined all House Republicans in voting it down. And Democrats, including Pelosi, can read the polls. A recent Reuters, Ipsos poll showed Congressional Republicans leading for the first time this cycle on the important generic ballot question. According to Reuters, 38% of voters said they would vote for a Republican if midterms were held today, compared to 37% who said they would vote for a Democrat. The result shows the Democrats' polling lead on generic preference for congressional candidates is all but gone. But the game is far from over. As November gets closer, the Democrats' base is primed to extend their current enthusiasm advantage over GOP voters. In special elections, the Senate race in Alabama and several gubernatorial races, the Democrats have turned out and produced wins. And don't forget, even Trump's base voters are disappointed by his failure to build the border wall, repeal Obamacare, drain the swamp and bring back the jobs lost to international trade. Republicans are also disappointed that Trump's tax cuts for the rich have increased the deficit. Republican strategists don't want to talk about those problems, they prefer to rally the base with talk about impeachment. Last week, Trump tried to lower expectations by saying with a smile he is not sure I really believe that the midterms will be as important as his 2016 win. Unless Trump fires the special prosecutor, talk of impeachment remains a sideshow. It is not going to decide the outcome in November, Trump is too big. The election will be a referendum on him, Juan Williams is an author, and a political analyst for Fox News Channel.